a sixth week of peaceful protests in Algeria, though so far no change in government. But many Algerians feel they've never been closer. 20 years is enough, so get out. Algeria has many candidates who are competent to take the job. So why would the regime stifle them in their own country? Our youth deserves a breath of fresh air. Algeria doesn't deserve this. We deserve to live in peace. I'm here to confirm the people's demands. They have to listen to us. Earlier this week, the army backed their calls for President Abdelaziz Bouteflika to step down. The ruling party, its coalition partner and Algeria's biggest union have also now joined the calls for Bouteflika to go. But the 82-year-old remains in office. Even if he does go, that won't be enough for the protesters. We want to move to a real democratic country through a transitional period and to set a new Algerian government which will be elected by the people and not by this government. We are against this government. The protesters want an overhaul of a powerful establishment that has been entrenched in power since Algeria's independence from France in 1962. They want the resignation of the ruling elite that has sat alongside Bouteflika for 20 years. For anything like that to happen, the powerful military would have to agree. And it's very sensitive to signs of instability. Everyone is waiting for the Constitutional Council to rule on Bouteflika's fitness for office based on health reasons. It's given no indication when it will make a decision. If it rules the president unfit for office, Parliament must endorse the decision by a two-thirds majority. Even if that happens, it will only just begin to fulfil the demands of the hundreds of thousands of Algerians who've spoken out in protest. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera.